And you'd be like, ooh. I'd be like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right, so let's, ooh, get into this. You know. Hey man, shout out to that boy Gunner for always opening the show like that. But anyway, look man, that's a good tune. Your boy Snoopy East Ball Boy back again with this mukbang right here. It's almost like a homemade cook bang without the video clips of cooking it, but I didn't cook it. I got it from a supermarket called Fortino. So I got two soups right here in the bowl. Butternut squash and uh broccoli cheddar with some spicy i was gonna say ritz it spicy cheeses right here i got some fresh cucumbers cut up right here i got that wing stop ranch right here on deck i got a small little mini caesar salad right here and then i have their beautiful rotisserie chicken that comes in a little container y'all know what i'm talking about right so i sliced off this the little bit of kind of like half the leg and thigh a little piece of breast i glazed it with some plum sauce some um I was going to say some Rand Nephew, uh, <laughs> sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce and some of this uh, sriracha uh, mayo and put it in the oven on 400 for about 10 minutes and let it kind of just reduce down. So that's what we're doing today. And to drink, we got that true blue, you know, Jones right here. This flavor is berry lemonade. All right. So let's cheers it up and get into this. All right, but before we attack the chicken, you notice I'm not wearing no rings because it's going to get messy. I'm going to eat with my hands. All right, so let's try the soup. Mmm. No piece of salad fell in there. Mmm. So that butter nut squash is this perfect. So it's cold outside and rainy. It's getting dark early. So for a lot of people, that would be miserable weather. But I like that. It's cozy. As long as you don't have to be out on the street with it in your home. And you got some of this butternut squash and this other cheddar broccoli soup right here. And some rotisserie chicken. You're good to go. Cozy. Mmm. Show y'all what I'm working with in a sec. Mm. Show y'all. Mm -hmm. I'll give you some more close ups, no worries. But yeah, man. Monday's in the books. probably get this week uh, this weekend you'll probably get this video on the weekend <clears throat> mm. I said this before many times and for those that know me soups besides like meats and chicken wings and roast and ribs and stuff <clears throat> soups are my favorite actually mm. Put some hot sauce in there. I didn't put hot sauce in the soup because I figured these spicy um, cheeses would do the, the heat trick. It got a good flavor, but it's not spicy. It might be spicy for you, but not for me. But yeah, the soup at Fortino's is banging. Mmm. Get some of this Wingstop Ranch from leftover Wingstop video. Dip 
a little cucumber up in there. And to reply back to everybody, <clears throat> ask me how I'm doing. I'm doing pretty good. Everybody's got their little ups and downs. Especially when it comes to like the work situation or whatever. And sometimes you have a, a, a tough day. I want to say bad. You'll have a tough day or whatever. I just mean mug. Focus on what I'm doing. We ain't homies. I'm not even trying to see your face or nothing like that. I'm just here. I'm just doing my job. As long as I ain't doing nothing to interfere with nobody, offend nobody, whatever, man. Y'all can kick rocks. I'm just doing what I need to do. Straight up. You can just back the hell on up. That's it. Feel me? Straight up. And they know from my energy. But other than that, yeah, I'm doing good. Looking forward to my move coming up soon. All right, we're gonna go in. It's leg and thigh right here. Let's get some of this leg right here, leg action right here. It's gonna be a messy mukbang right here. Anyway, here you go that uh, little tisserie gold right here, baby. Some chicken. Check that out, Brooke. Take a bite of that for you. Mm. I'm gonna straight spit fast right now. I don't care what name brand, restaurant, chicken spot, you know. And nothing like getting a piece of rotisserie that's already done. You have to clean it, season it, <clears throat> and then put it in the oven and wait. You just come home, glaze it up with your favorite sauce, toss it in the oven for 10 minutes. That's it. Let's try it with this. The Ooh Ooh Ranch. I just put wing stops, uh, banging freaking ranch sauce on rotisserie chicken. Ain't nobody done that yet. Cook food, y'all. I am due for a nice Jamaican mukbang, though. Just thinking about it in my head, like, what? What do I want to film and eat next? There's a big piece of broccoli. Cook food wise, you know what I mean? That's something like rice and peas, jerk chicken, maybe some. Barbecue pork pieces on some rib, some cornbread, and some um, some type of greens. Mm. I'm gonna try the salad. I should have kept the salad in the fridge to keep it crispy, but my fork at. See if it's good. Mm. Flavor is there. A little soggy. I think I put a little too much dressing on it. But there's some avocado in there too, so it's creamy.
So if you're having <clears throat> some type of eating disorder, come eat with me. Go get you your favorite type of soup. It could be clam chowder. It could be a Caribbean soup. It could be like what I'm having right now. You don't have to make it. You can go get it from like a, a little restaurant. If you got a drive through and they got soup they're offering, or go into your supermarket and go to like the the like ready to eat dinners that they have. You know, like they'll have roast and stuff like that. This Fortino's, they had roast, they had chicken, they had yams, they had uh, greens, they had like everything gravy, stuffed bell peppers, everything. And that was just one side. <clears throat> The other side, you can smell the coffee and the bread. They have all the pastries. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pizza, fresh pizza. There's two pizza spots in there. Fresh pizza, fresh deli sandwiches that look really good. So if you want to just grab a quick bite on your way to work, whatever, just pop in there right quick. Skirt, just get up in there. Just grab a sandwich or two. Like, hey, let me get a large soup, too, to go with that. Yeah. Anything else, sir? Uh, yeah, let me get a large half hazelnut, half vanilla triple triple coffee on the go and you good to go man light you up a little smoke and you on the way way but shout like this look feeling good just take a little sip <laughs> feeling nice but yeah if you can't eat man come eat with me you feel me yeah excuse me also another comment i'm responding to somebody asked me over from the bay I am considered technically from the Bay. I grew up in the Bay Area, but <clears throat> we don't really consider ourselves Bay Area now. Looking back on it a couple years ago, we're San Jose, California. But I don't know. I think for years we, we try to fight to say we were, we're the Bay, part of the Bay, but the Bay never recognized us. L.A. didn't really recognize us. So we was just like S.J. Sharks far away. You know what I'm saying? We're our own unit. But... I mess with cats from all over, from like Oakland and Frisco. Excuse me. And then <clears throat> one of my best homeboys, like, was pretty much like his family generations, like, are from Frisco. My Puerto Rican homeboy, Junebug, man. Um, but yeah, I guess it's easier to be like, yeah, yeah, I'm from the Bay. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're from the Bay and you know, then you know, right? If you got Oakland, Frisco, Sacramento. All those, all those places like that. Sacramento being the capital of California, you know, um, and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm from, I grew up in San Jose, California, South Side. Yeah. Let's see, hold on, get a good, one. get a good close up on that baby. Get a small little dunk because I'm gonna get this glaze right here is better than this ranch, but this ranch is banging though. Y'all ready for that? Mm. Mm. I was extremely hungry too because I don't eat during the day at work no more. Now I know I should have a little burger here and there, but work politics is annoying as hell. So I just want to try to get 80 to 90% of my work done by like 2 o'clock, depending on how hectic my, my lines are on creating furniture. I usually just sit in my car and listen to my studies or edit, check emails or whatever, <clears throat> listen to music have a couple smokes and then I'm back at it again then I have one more smoke and then I'm out for you know home time so sometimes when I eat I'll get full and then I won't film till later and I don't want the evening to go too late past like 6 37 o'clock because I want to enjoy the evening I want to watch a show a movie I want to chill I want to um maybe do some laundry or Get on the game and do a live stream or just hang out with the homies, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> so, with that being said, I'm starving by the time I get home. So, I'm just like, okay, so if I'm going to do the chicken and the soup or whatever, go shower, get ready. Boo. And yes, I do shower and put on a cologne and deodorant every day. But I do that for you guys, so I'm presentable all the time, right? So, 
I like to take pride in myself like that. But that's my pretty much my schedule. Now, I'll, I'll dip out once in a blue moon and go get like a donut or a bag of chips or even a, like a, a Whopper, just a sandwich, right? I'm telling you guys, this soup is perfect for this autumn weather, man. This winter time coming soon. And it's soup season. The reason why I put it in quotation because I eat soup all year round. I don't wait for a season. I don't do like people, you know what I'm saying? Like a, a new pair of jeans come out for like, or leggings for, for women and everybody's going crazy and it's the new thing. And they oh, I got to have it because everybody has it. Beyonce has it. Uh, Snoop Dogg has it. I don't, I don't do that. I do what I want to do, how and when I want to do it. And I like what I like. So if I say it's hot in the summertime, but I'm craving a nice soup with some hot sauce and some crackers in it. By all means, I'm finna go get it. I don't need no season and no man-made holidays to do that. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh, and I gotta talk about this, too. This, A lot of my viewers don't really too much care too much about the the whole, my other channel, the video game scene, even though I appreciate whoever went over there and supported my channel. We're gonna talk about Toxic video games, more like toxic people in the video game, playing the video game, right? So it was last night, me and my crew, who I love dearly, man. Shout out to my whole crew on Red Dead, man. Even even my friends that my friends don't really know. I have other little two, three friends, you know, scattered that I run with here and there or whatever. We got a little mutual little hookup situation, a little bond or whatever, whatnot. And uh, we were doing some gold glitching, right? Me and my homie. And uh, a friend of mine came through with, with like five or six other dudes, right? And this is our Red Dead Redemption 2. So we're, me and my boy, we're minding our business. We're doing our thing. We're getting our gold on, having a good time. We're excited. We're gonna do what we gotta do, and then you know, go find something else or whatever we do, sell a wagon or whatever we do. You know, it's Red Dead Redemption talk for you guys that don't know, okay? But anyway, I'm heavy on that game. So, so then my homegirl pulls up with, I wouldn't say her necessarily or her crew. Maybe she considers them her crew or whatever. She's not the leader of the crew, but they're a rowdy bunch, right? So she comes to me, she goes, hey, Snoopy, um, don't mind us. These guys are really rowdy or whatever. I said, oh, it's cool. I said, we're just doing our gold glitch, you know, so we're just chilling or whatever. She's like, all right, yeah, yeah, true, true, or whatever. <laughs> Starts getting rowdy in there or whatever. Um, and then I forget what happened. I think I must have, I don't know if I lagged out or something. Restarted a new session, came back. Well, they came back again, right? About 10, 15 minutes into our uh, gameplay. So they come back in again. Now, mind you, we're way up north on the map, away from everybody. But it's not an unknown spot. People go there, right? But I'm just saying there's people in the lobby, but you don't really expect nobody to be there, right? So we're chilling in there. Here they come again. Rowdy as hell. And they're fight, fist fighting in there. And if you put the chat on everyone, you can hear everybody talking in there, whether your friends or not, right? So, let me get a cucumber with some rice. We're going at it again, right? And this glitch requires you to kind of, it says respawn, you got to kill yourself. Your friend stays there. You come back around. He kills himself. I stay there. You come back around, we do it. And that's how this works, right? You do that continuously for as long as you want, like 45 minutes to hours, what we do, and then we'll do a fresh lobby, whatever. So the point is, you're building up gold. And we're excited for that, right? Because you can buy things and unlock things in the game with it. So that being said, that's the premise of the story. Now, they're going at it again, and they're right next to us on the ice, right? So they're like three to five feet away. And they're fighting or whatever. So my boy, Rux, is coming around the corner. And we're like I'm saying, we're doing the rotating. Like I'll drop down, then come back, and then he'll do it, right? He stays, then I go, then I stay, then he goes. So it's one big circle. And we're doing it, right? 
So as he's coming around, um, if I'm correct, and he can correct me on the video if I, if, if I get this correct, because I'm so focused on what I was doing. I think the dude punched him or something like that, or, or as he was running, because they were so close, I think... His character went into like a, I guess probably grabbed him, right? Sometimes your, your your control will do that if you're running and you're spamming a button to run fast or whatever. You get too close to a person that's not your friend. The game automatically, your enemies with whoever, if you get too close to press a button because it'll grab you, it'll pull a gun and shoot you or whatever, right? But it wasn't deliberate. So this dude gets all butthurt because my boy's character went into the defensive stance but he didn't mean to and he told him too in the chat hey man my bad like whatever whatever i'm just running by whatever and so the dude pulls out a gun and shoots him right in the game but in the game that's some serious shit it's it's like real life but in the game because it's kind of hard to explain if you're not a gamer and you haven't played that game and you're not so um invested in it so to speak right okay fine shoots him right i think rux kind of let it slide a little bit or whatever and then the dude shoots him again. So now Rux is pissed and he's like, yo, let's fight, right? And dude doesn't want to fight. He's just continuously shooting, running, trying to snipe or whatever. So Rux kills him. And so there's a whole big commotion. Just people just yelling back and forth, talking shit. I was in the friends only chat. So I didn't hear the last half of the commotion. But it was just ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? But that's just, just goes to show how toxic people are. So Rux was upset about that. We want to get the little one-on-one, -on -one, the little run back, you know? But apparently dude left and he wasn't around or whatever, but that's just some coward stuff right there. Like if you want to fight there, take the invitation for that fade and run it back. Because Rux would have handled him. Rux would have ate that fool's food, man. But anyway, shit happens. But that was one seriously toxic game right there. Oh shit. No. Oh. Lost it in a rent. Well, it's not a bad thing, but you know. You know. Chicken booty. Von Tran's favorite. Chicken boot. Chicken ass. The booty meat is super tender, man. Just say fool. Mm. The salad is wilted, so I'm not gonna eat that. Let me get some more cucumbers right here. But yeah, man, um, hot food. You know what I'm saying? If you don't have a, a lot of people might be like, man, I don't feel like cooking today. Or you might not even feel like cooking throughout the week. Now, this is cooked food. Just somebody else cooked it for you. you. Just jazz it up. And you're good to go, you know? And if you're suffering with an eating disorder, I hope this video... Um, I hope you find this video and it helps you. Let's say that you been watching my videos, right? Cause not everybody viewing will come out and say nothing, right? They'll just view you and they low key love you and, and support you. And that's fine. But it's nice to hear too. Not only does it help us as content creators to, you know, get the feedback and, you know, respectfully critique things or whatever. So that we get an idea how to better our channel, or whatever. But it also helps to an algorithm. But and all that stuff is good, and we need that. We want that. Also, too, like I actually like care. So if my video in any way helps you with your appetite, you're gonna eat and you can eat, right? 
I encourage you to come forward and leave some comments, man, because maybe your struggle and your journey by writing it out, seeing what you're saying, because you have a mouth inside your brain, too, because when, when you're like this, you can still talk and hear your voice. So maybe you're talking to yourself, right? But writing it out is very good because you get to manifest it, right? And somebody might be coming along, see my video, and be like, oh, let me read the comments. I scroll through and see somebody's, hey, you know, I've been suffering with uh, <clears throat> my diet or, you know, I've had issues with not having an appetite or whatever. And I clicked on Snoop's video and man, this brother was eating some chicken. It just looked so good in the soup. And man, I just I just went and got the soup and the chicken and I rewatched the video and I dropped the like and the subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, it was all good. I can eat now. So I, I can eat now watching him eat. And real talk, before I became a mukbanger, right, I was obsessed with ASMR eating. <clears throat> And there was a couple OGs in the game, um, and it went from ASMR to mukbangs when I found mukbangs. That was it. I used to download them on my computer and put them on my phone. And at that time, for about I drove forklift for like about 20 years, 21 years. I think even 22, about 20 to 22 years. Anyway, so the last company that I drove for, <coughs> excuse me, we had the Lindy forklifts, right? So they were really big. The, ones I, the one I was driving was massive because I was doing something called Rollaway where um, these uh, heavy slabs of stone that are strapped and wrapped uh, with the logo on it comes out on skids. So you had to go in and I had four forks. So you had to go in, pick it up. The other one will come down or you drive out and you come around, you put it on top and then you come out and you pick up the two like this, come down, pick it, uh, come out and go around to the front so the label's facing you. And then you're going to take it out to the yard and you're going to stack it where that stone goes, where that color match goes, right? And I love that job. <clears throat> I just don't like the people. Bosses and supervisors did all with their head all big. Like, they're just, they're freaking annoying. I, I hate people, period. Like, they're just dumb as shit. But the job itself, I loved, right? And my forklift had air conditioning, heating, radio, and all that. But I didn't never use the radio. I kept my um, my CB, my walkie-talkie right here, fully charged, ready to go. I had my phone on me. And I would listen to the mukbangs. I would listen to the story times. And I would listen to the people crunching and munching. And it would make me hungry. And something about the ASMR was soothing to me. It helped me too. Like, And I wasn't looking for no help, right? <clears throat> and even if I needed help, me, I'm th that much of a self-soldier inside myself, a militant, that I won't come and bother nobody for nothing. You know, I'll just... Either suffer in silence or I'll, I'll figure out a way to solve my issue on my own. You know what I'm saying? So do I like being on my lonely, like 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 on my lonesome? I can manage fine on my own. But I love to interact with people that are on a positive, righteous vibe. I don't like dumbass people at all. I have low tolerance for them. I don't care who it is either, period. And I won't even have to say nothing. I'll just be straight face. Like Sometimes I'll just be at work, just straight face or on or in the street, just straight face. And uh, sometimes just my silence, what I'm thinking, I guess, exudes a lot of whatever energy. And it just repels people to the point like, I ain't messing with this dude. I, you know what I'm saying? Have a nice day, sir. That type of thing, right? But anyway, um, but yeah, so it helped me a lot too. And I wasn't looking for help like I was saying. That's what I was saying. I wasn't looking for any type of help. But it was naturally, I'd be naturally in a good mood. And it would naturally keep me in a good, healthy, positive, happy, cozy mood. All through my shift. So yes, what I'm trying to say. ASMR eating <clears throat> and mukbang with story time were dope. Shout out to my boy RDR Food Reviews, man. Roberto, my boy. That's my dog right there out of Texas. Go check out his channel. That brother right there, me and him are like this. We did a collab too, but it was more than just a collab. We chop it up on the phone. I go into this brother's lives. He's having a little sippy sip or whatnot. Get a little faded. And he's telling some wicked story times. And he's funny as hell too. And that's my dog. I love him. My boy Rice, man. Shout out to Rice. Same thing, man. You go up in there. It's always good. He always come through playing my songs. He always playing my videos on the back. Just He don't do it just to say, oh, look what I do. He does it because he generously loves his boy. He loves me. You know what I'm saying? He calls me the big homie. Man, he older than me. You know what I'm saying? But that's just the love. Uh, uh, and shout out to you, Rice, man. I'm going to shoot you that information. I didn't forget about you. I just got busy throughout the day. But I'm going to get at you. He's, oh, yeah. You did say you were going to mail it, though. <sighs> my bad, bro. I caught up with the editing and stuff. I fell asleep on my phone. Phone fell on my face. Like, bink. I was like, oh, shit. Looked around. I was like, what the hell? Phone's still going. Almost dead. Got up. Put it to charge. Went use the bathroom, came back, went to sleep like a grizzly bear like that. No, I can sleep standing up. You can dance on the water and not get wet. Hey! <laughs>
But yeah, I mean. Mm. And not to forget none of my homegirls either. You know, my boy Big Heck. Always comes through and drops love or however he could show it and, 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 and all that good stuff. Um, so I don't hate all people. I just hate stupid, retarded, low IQ, just dumbass people. I don't care what position they're in or what they claim or none of that. If you're dumb, you're dumb. And I, I don't rock with you, period. So that's why I didn't understand that situation with Rux with that dude. You know what I'm saying? It was his bad. The homegirl brought them to where we were at. We didn't go to them looking for problems. But if you come bringing a problem, and <clears throat> especially when we're in the right to defend ourselves, we're gonna we're gonna handle that shit. So nobody's worried about your backup or you might call reinforcers. We are the reinforcements. When there's an SOS that goes out in the chat, we're the ones that come through. And I'm not the greatest fighter, but I've been holding my own. But we got shout out to my boy Baker. He'll come through and snipe your whole family tree out. From he he loves it, you know what I'm saying? Where's the smoke? Where is it? Where is it, bro? Where is it? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where you, you know, is anybody fighting? You look up in the chat. Hey, hey, uh, who's fighting right now? Uh, nobody right now. Uh, we'll go start one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a real soldier right there, man. And then we got my boy Brooke over there just doing the thing thing over there on GTA Five, man. So I'm I surround myself with good people, man, that I love, and I haven't even met these cats yet, but I can feel that bond, right? That brotherhood and. and with the, with the ladies too, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, everybody has a little differences here and there or whatever. But at the end of the day, man, yo, what is it really about? You know what I'm saying? It's all about you come together as a community, as a collective, you know what I'm saying? And linking up and and having good conversations, having some good food and chilling and having a good time, right? Good vibes. That's what it's about. So, you know, without being long-winded, I am full right now. I got a little piece of chicken left or whatever. But this soup was amazing, man. Butternut squash, if you never had butternut squash, go try some butternut squash. My favorite is the broccoli cheddar. Tim Hortons, which is a coffee shop that ser uh, serves uh, like sandwiches and soups and stuff like that. They're mainly a donut shop, but they have um, a wicked, um, is it cauliflower soup? I don't know if it's cauliflower soup. I know they got a, a broccoli cheddar soup, and that's amazing too. But, um, and I wasn't even really planning on chit chatting that much, but my boy Rux expired me, man. He was like, you know, he likes to hear my conversation or whatever. And I wanted to reach out just in case somebody was struggling out there because I do uh, get comments like that once in a while. And I have, um, from what they told me, helped them in the past with whatever little situations they were going through. And that makes me happy inside. So I'm a fat boy in spirit and in heart. Even though I don't eat as much as I used to, you know what I'm saying? But I can get down when, when, when the time comes. But I'm not a um, I'm not a competitive eater or none of that. I'm not trying to be like, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to eat this whole entire chicken in two minutes with like nuclear hot sauce so I could just have my ass explode like in two hours after I film this. I'm not doing none of that. Feel me? But I will sit down here and enjoy my meal and conversate with you guys. And I'm, I know I've been talking for a minute, but, you know, I'm just... Trying to pump out some videos and give some people some hope and some love. Spread that love. Shoot out all that good positivity to all you beautiful people out there, man, that freaking sent my freaking uh, Wingstop video to almost 1,400 views within 24 hours, man. So that's what's up, man. Salute to you guys, man. You guys are awesome, man. Stay blessed out there, man. I love you guys. Um, <clears throat> if you can, please share me out. Don't forget to like and leave a comment. I want to know who out there had to change their diet because of something. Um lost their appetite or just just can't get right with their dinners or anything no more if i can help you man i humbly uh bow to that and i appreciate it um so yeah and hopefully this video finds you and gives you some comfort and helps you to eat again so anyway with that being said it's your boy snoopy so i'm about to sign up man telling you guys once again and don't forget to subscribe if you've been watching me for a while and you haven't subscribed already help me out it's free just hit the subscribe button I love you guys, man. Until the next video, stay blessed, stay up, and eat well. All right? You know. Peace out, y'all.